Uh, let's go to Georgia Tech. Uh, Kevin Harris joins us from the defensive line, getting ready to roll over to Dublin. Uh, Kevin, first of all, there he is. Uh, first of all, uh, appreciate the time, as always. Um, so before we talk about the road trip and all this stuff, what have you learned the most about your football team in fall camp? I learned that we're pretty resilient. Um, really bonded together uh, really well during this fall camp. Uh, we're building a lot of confidence in each other, which I think is a, a very important step to take when um, moving into the season and just preparing for the games and the day-to-day day to day things that come with that. Um, it's really good for our team. So I'm excited for what we're going to do once we get out to Ireland. You know the defensive stats. I'm, I'm sure you've been over them or at least trying to forget them from last season. But you, from what you've seen in this preseason camp, why is this season going to be different? Uh, this season is going to be different just because our eyes are focused on just improvement. Our biggest thing was focusing on being the most improved defense. Regardless of what happened last year, that's just something that we've been building and striving towards every single day. And um, we put in the work, and um, we're excited to see how that turns out and if we can continue to improve throughout the season. What about that D-line and getting after the quarterback? I know that's going to be a, a real emphasis this yeah. season, something you were unable to do last year. What do you see from the guys up front? Uh, I see a very tenacious D-line, a D-line that uh, that leads the rest of the team, sets the tone. Um, these guys have been at it for a long time. A lot of us have been playing together for a pretty long time. And, um, yeah, you're just going to see a lot of leadership from us and basically just taking the team where where, where, where the heck we need to go as far as this, like, we can – the sky's the limit for us. So, and I think that starts up front in the trenches, the D-line especially, just the attitude that we bring – the rest of the building, you know, I think everybody else is going to follow our lead and, you know, we take pride in that. So, Kevin, it really doesn't matter whether we're talking about Georgia Tech, Florida State or roast beef a &M or whatever the case may be. You get into the third week of August, you guys have been beating up on each other for the last couple of weeks. I know mm -hmm. that you're just ready to see that Florida State jersey. I mean, I, you got to get sick and tired of seeing your buddies, right? Each and every day. It's like, hey, we need some fresh meat. So tag your it on Saturday. <laughs> All right, right. Um, yeah, definitely uh, Definitely feel like every day that goes by, the closer and closer that we get to game day, the more intense, the more the sense of urgency just goes up in the building and just even in my room and um, the whole entire D-line. Um, it permeates throughout the building, you know, like the intensity just leading up to the game. Uh, we're definitely ready to, like, get, get a taste of blood and have it be somebody else instead of, like, our own guys. But, but yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing. New defensive coordinator, Tyler Santucci. What what does he bring here this season for you guys? Uh, I think we uh, – when, when Santucci got here, biggest thing was just uh, gaining – just having a level of trust, you know, like us trusting him when he came in and, uh, you know, the players just trusting, you know, wh whatever he has in store for us. Um, and our biggest thing was being the most improved defense. And um, I feel like – He's definitely he's definitely done everything he can in his power to make sure that we're one um, bonded together like a team and executing every single day and just holding each other accountable. And uh, his attitude in the building every day is, is an inspiration to everybody, especially on defense. So um, he's a great leader, and um, I think we can rock behind him for the rest of the season. We're gonna have some good things happening. What's been his message and game plan as you get set for a pretty talented Florida State offense? Uh, just focus on what we do and um, be focused on that and winning every single day that leads up to the game. That's the only thing we can do. And then once we get to the game, you know, and bullets start flying everywhere, you know, we just have to show up and just do what we do is practice what we've been doing. Kevin, the ability to tackle the man with the football, especially against the run, I, I know has been emphasized as well. Uh, and, and without any trade secrets here? What have you guys done differently? And again, Matt just asked you about the new DC and everything else, but what have you guys done differently to shore that up? Cause I, I got a funny feeling that that team you're going to play Saturday, that offensive line and those backs and DJ use about six, four, two fifty. Uh, you're going to get a dose of, Hey, we're going to pound the rock and see if you can stop it. So what, what has changed uh, through the fall camp and everything else to, to make you think that, Hey, you know what? Georgia Tech's going to be much better against the run. And we're just studying, we're working, D-line's grinding, doing what we're supposed to do, and uh, making sure that that's handled up front, um, especially. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, we're learning a new defense, and um, with that, we've learned some new, some new uh, things that can possibly be to our advantage. Just, just, just learning overall, just how to run our defense and everything. I think that's going to be a big help, and um, yeah, we'll just see, we'll see what happens. I mean, I mean, all we can do is just work and just try and improve from there, day to day. So, you see your uh, offense every day. What do you see from them going into this one? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's a pretty challenging offense to play against every single day, definitely for sure. And I think that's another thing that gets us ready for uh, opposing teams. Get a lot of looks every single day, so uh, that's very beneficial, as you would think. Um, yeah, shoot, it's good competition. Our shoppers are. Uh, listen, I know we're going to talk football, but we also got to talk about this trip. Um, for, have you ever been outside the country? Yes, I have. Um, I've been to Mexico, uh, Bahamas counts, but like yep. just little trips like that, um, just growing up. And, um, so yeah, this is probably like another trip that I've been, uh, prepared to take, just been ready to take. Um, I haven't been out the country in a while, so I'm excited for that for sure. Definitely. Uh, by the way, the Bahamas definitely counts. The Bahamas always counts, yeah. Kevin. I mean, you know, I don't care. Yeah, as far as it's a common destination, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it always counts. Uh, so, what do you, what, what do you, other than the game itself? And I know it's a business trip, and your coach all week's been saying, "Listen, this ain't no stinking vacation. We're we're there to get in a fist fight." Uh, what are you most looking forward to, other than the game itself, on the road trip to Dublin? I mean, I think just, I mean, sure, that's a hard question because. It's hard not to take it as a business trip. Like me myself, I mean, until until there's a W on the after the game, like I'm not really, you know, out of that mode for real, for real. But um, I guess like after the dub and everything, we can enjoy some time out there, some scenery. But um, to that point, it's straight business over here at Georgia Tech. It's not a not no little trip, you know. Be looking so, around, I looking at butterflies and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're in Dublin, Ireland, or Topeka, Kansas. Uh, you're there to show up with a little attitude and get the W and get home. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, that's what matters, for sure. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, it's going to be it's gonna be great. It's also going to be a long flight. Uh, it's going to be jet lag. Like, what are the things that you're going to take on the plane to kind of get through that flight, things you need to take on a trip like this? Uh big thing i would say recovery devices like anything related to recovery and staying uh just as loose as possible on the plane i guess from a muscle muscular standpoint and then getting good sleep i want to say it's like a well like 11 12 hour flight i think but um but yeah just um just the little things like that like the 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 details like nutrition nutrition on the plane i think that's really important uh, I think that's something we gotta focus on, especially just traveling. Well, something that players shouldn't be focusing on, but just you know, just keep that in the back of your mind as you're getting prepared for the game. You know, Kevin, we just played a clip from uh, Malik Benson at Florida State. He said he couldn't wait to get over there and try one of those McDonald's in Ireland. <laughs> I mean, so I, it doesn't Man. sound like he's on a different stratosphere than you are. Man, I don't know nothing about that McDonald's <laughs> Ireland. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, have yeah. a great trip, all right? Stay healthy. We look forward to kicking this thing off with you guys coming up this weekend, and we'll see you down the road at some point in time, but uh, wish you nothing but the very best. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed You got one. it.